around us. I knew coming to Nebraska that for me to get minutes, I have to rebound. There's Caitlin Clark's first points. Took her seven shots to do it. Colin Coley now will take a seat. Count the bucket for Stokey. I thought maybe a little arm might have gotten her. Clark's got six assists. Will penetrate that time. Her second field goal to a 10 shooting. Today. Nice slip by Stokey. Boy, Stokey's tough. Taking it out for the baseline. To a cutting Stokey left side. Hannah Stone here to open up the third quarter. Two for 13 from the field. She steps it back from about 15 out. Look into what Iowa does when they do it well. They defend and that leads to offense. Clark steps it back. Three pointer number one. 52 to 51. Clark behind the back. A little bit out of rhythm here today. The give and go. Clark gives Iowa its first lead since the first quarter. They've climbed Iowa and Nebraska. Each team winning on its home court in the regular season. Clark off balance. Nothing but net. Her second three pointer of the game. Oh, that can get her going. Far below their average here, and that's what Coach Williams said she wanted to do. Clark, right side, she's found success with that right one seed. Ohio State lost, Michigan State the number four seed, lost in the quarters. These are the two teams who have survived, the two and the five. Clark from straight away. Quarter, but coming out of the timeout. He gets it right back. Inside five minutes left to play for a championship. Clark leaves it short. Gives it right back. And Stokey, how'd he find it? That was a point. And they need to play with a sense of urgency here. And they need a bucket. So they go Clark's way. She can deliver. Time and time again. The NCAA Markowski's way misses everything. And they're going to want to go to Markowski with Stokey in foul trouble. Clark to Stokey. Fast break. Getting it in to Markowski. It's Caitlin Clark time. Crossover. Hesitation. Ball fake. Kicks it to the corner. Kate Martin with the big three-pointer. Cuts the lead to two. Iowa trailing by two. Clark crosses it over against Shelly. Shoulder shake. Clark all the way. Left side. We're tied up at 77. I love the fact that Caitlin Clark has been taking it to the rim. Not just settling, she's hit some shots from outside, but boy, she is so adept at getting into the teeth of the defense. This is just one-on-one -on -one basketball all the way, and she is so deceptively strong. Her body control, when you see the way that she handles herself. What a big shot. He's in here too. Here's Hake. Six. Left in this championship game, Chad Shelley. Over to Nestle, who fires. It's short. We got extra basketball in the Big Ten Tournament Championship. Five big three-pointer from the right wing and gives Nebraska the lead. 87 to 86. Wow, the freshman coming up huge. Clark looking for it, steps it back, it's a three on the way! It's another three for Caitlin Clark! And Iowa leads 89 to 87. You want to have a Caitlin Clark on your squad. What a response. This step back three, a fader, knocks it down like it's a layup. Intercepts. Clark with the ball in her hands. The three-peat is complete for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Back to back to back. What a performance, Lisa.
This Hawkeyes team just wanted it a little more at the end. And their seniors came up huge. And the Iowa seniors shine the brightest on the biggest stage in their final Big Ten moment to deliver the 2024 Big Ten Tournament Championship. And the play of Caitlin Clark, I mean, she just put a bow around her career with this one. Caitlin Clark's Big Ten curtain call. How about a championship? I think that's what she, she'd like to go home, take that hardware. Time to check in with A.J. Ross, who's with a happy Lisa Bluter. That's right. It's a three-peat for these Iowa Hawkeyes, a third straight Big Ten tournament title. How proud are you of this group? I'm so proud of our perseverance. You know, we didn't play very well in the first half, and we just kept believing, and I thought we played much better. Went through the smoke out there today, baby, and uh, how about these fans? How about these Hawkeye fans? They are absolutely amazing. Absolutely, as confetti continues to fall. Absolutely, I'm trying to get the star of the game here, Caitlin Clark. Caitlin, it wasn't the prettiest goal, but you still contributed with double-digit assists, crashing the boards, and then second half, you lit it up. Yeah. Trusting your teammates, believing in your teammates, the depth of this team. Talk me through that mindset and being able to just distribute to them in clutch moments. Yeah. Well, I think our first half obviously wasn't very good across the board, for myself included, and you really have no choice but to figure it out at halftime and really respond, and that's exactly what we did. And even being down seven with two minutes to play, we never gave up. And um, this is definitely the hardest one. That's three in a row. But this is by far the hardest. I'm just so proud of our group, so resilient. And these fans are incredible. If it wasn't for them, I don't know if we win. So just proud of us. And I'm hearing now that you are also the most outstanding player uh, of the game thanks. for this one. And this is a final chapter of sorts for you. Yeah. Many accomplishments. We were in awe of watching you. Um, how special is this one for you? Most outstanding player and three Big Ten tournament titles. You know, it's really special. We've been in the Big Ten championship, you know, every single year I've been here. And it's really hard to get to this spot. And Nebraska put up a really great fight, but I just thought we always responded and always had an answer for them. And, um, you know, it's just special. I'm just really proud of our group. And, uh, you know, each one gets better and better. I just want to note here the Big Ten tournament championship trophy coming this way. Yes. This is the Big Ten Commissioner Tony Petiti handing it off to Coach Lisa Bluter. Three times. This is rare air. This is history. This is epic. What an amazing historic game we got to listen to and watch today, Lisa. AJ, thanks so much. And our last look at Caitlin Clark and her.